second part of this lesson is invest in second lesson is invest in improving yourself so what do i mean by that um so life can be thought of as a game diba? and you're given different types of parang resources mean resources um time um, energy and money okay how you use those resources is what you call a strategy yon which depends on your competencies meaning yung mga kakayahan mo your collective term siya for your knowledge your skills and your experience ang nakakatawa sa life for most people No, at different times, you have different levels of resources of each type of resource. So, for for most young people, we start out with no money, but we have lots of time and energy. Yeah, As you get closer to my age, char, um, you will have little time, uh, and then you will slightly have less energy, but a bit more money. Shut up. Um, as we get much older, we have money, less energy, and lots of time. Okay, so, remember, retired na ganon. So now, if this scenario happens to you, etong tatlo, etong sunod sunod nyan, carry na yon actually, normal na yon. Because if you don't play your cards well, it's also possible that you might end up with no money, no energy, and no time. Yung mga ayon natin. It's also possible that you can end up having all three, diba? at the same time, which is what a lot of people aspire for. That's what I aspire for. So that all depends on your strategy. So our job is to use these three resources strategically so that we will end up with more resources than ever. And that strategy is investing. So, um, Investing can be defined as allocating resources to something that you believe would benefit your future. I will think of investing can be defined as allocating resources to something that you believe would benefit your future. So in return, okay. So the key point dito, the key point dito, investment is not just about money. It's about resources. Every second, you could be making investment decisions. So for example, as a student, you have a lot of time and energy. You can choose to invest that time and energy in creating uh, online courses, diba? or serving as a part-time tutor. Pwede kayo maging TikTok influencer. Ayan. So you can have money. So yon, pansin yon. How your time and energy got converted to money. So tip number four is actually to invest first in improving your competencies. Because yung competencies nyo yung nagalaw sa inyo to convert your time, energy to money. Yon. And without money, you can't make more money, de ba? Ani pang invest mo? Ani pang bibili mo ng stocks? Ani pang bibili mo ng bonds? Ani pang bibili mo ng bahay at lupa? Yon. Okay. So, ano yung examples ng pag sinabi nating invest first in your competencies, travel, learning new skills, getting work experience, reading books. Actually, a lot of those that I mentioned don't need a lot of money. Your only investments are your time and energy. So, why is it important for you to know that investing is not only for money? Because as a young person, tayon, we don't have money. Diba? Usually, we don't have money, ang, and that's normal. Because the ang, ang, ang age talaga kung saan nag nag accumulate ng capital ang isang tao ay 30s pataas, 30s to 50s yon. And after 50s, bumababa na yung ano nila, yung earning power. Okay, so nai nagsu slow down na, de ba? So um, in order to get money for you to invest in other investments, as I mentioned, you need to earn money first because money makes more money. Okay, a um, good investment tool sa retirement was um, I found an yung index fund. So yung index fund, um, para siyang 
pool of assets na naka-peg yung value sa stock exchange. So for me, naka, naka-invest siya sa stock exchange ng US. But I believe there is also an index fund for the Philippines. So yon. Um, and I'll explain later bakit yun yung napili ko. Actually, explain ko na ngayon. Um, li- balikan ko na lang yung isaw pang example na maya. So, bakit ako nag-invest ng maaga for retirement? Actually, dapat ngayon pa nag-invest na kayo. Um, kasi may tinatawag na compounded interest. Okay, so may isang example dito. So, si Investor 1 um, started at 25, set aside $5,000 a year for 10 years in a row. So, from 25 to 34. Tapos, after nun, wala na siyang, wala na siyang hinulog. Inayaan na lang niya na um, nakapark na lang dun yung pera niya. Tapos, Investor 2 starts at 35, invests $5,000 each year for 30 years in a row until reaching age 65. So, 10 years lang yung pagitan nila. Pero, mas malaki pa rin yung na-earn ng Investor 1 na nag-invest ng mas maaga. Bakit? Kasi, matagal nang nagko-compound yung pera niya. So, mamaya makikita nyo din yung effects ng compounded interest. Um, hindi, hindi, parang hindi attuned yung human brain to visualize the power of exponents. ba? Diba? So, yun yung, yun yung force at work when it's compounded interest. Kaya, as much as possible, you want to invest right now kasi kahit gano'ng kaliit na halaga yan, malaki yung effect niyan. Music